What's going on, everybody? As you can see, we are back home, back in what I call my studio corner. And uh, believe it or not, we are going to actually do a little bit of home recording today. Yep. I uh, got a couple of features that I need from a couple of friends of mine. So I have to do my recording here, send it over to them uh, so they can get their verses and send it right back to me. What I'm going to record today isn't going to be the, the final product. Um, just going to be something that my friends can use to reference. And I'll probably come back and record my part a little bit better a little bit later. Um, but for today, I'll, I'll give you guys kind of a walkthrough of how I set up my home studio, uh, what it, it currently is right now. Um, and, you know, I might kind of tell you what I plan on, on adding in the future as I go along. Um, but then I'll show you, you know, how I record here at home. So I've actually had a lot of people um, who, who think that, um, at least when they talk to me, who think that when you do features with other artists, that uh, the most common way of doing it is getting that artist and both of you guys heading to the same studio, hopping in the same booth and getting it done right then and there on the same day, the same hour. Um, the reality is, and, and uh, you know, some people might already know, but the reality is uh, it's commonly not done like that at all. Um, the most common way it's done is um, kind of what I'm doing right now. I, I record it. And then I just send the files over and, and that's it. I've done songs many times with artists where we had no face-to-face -face interaction whatsoever. Um, I did a song for my Bay Area people. I did a song with San Quinn a few years back. And um, to this day, you know, I've never met the man face-to-face. -face. I wish I could. He was very professional. I was able to talk to him over emails uh, for, you know, a handful of times, but... After that, you know, I've never met the man in person. All he did, uh, I sent, you know, I recorded my part, sent it over to him. He listened to it, uh, got an understanding of what he was supposed to write about, wrote his verse, recorded his stuff, and then sent the, the files my way. And then we parted ways, and, th and that was it. When he was done recording, and it wasn't even him that sent it, you know, so I, I talked to Stan Quinn for, you know, like I said, a handful of emails. And then after that, I kind of was just kind of referred to his agent, I think it was. And then I was, or maybe his producer, I'm not sure. Um, I, I was talking more, most, most of the conversations were done with his, uh, you know, affiliate, not even him. But um, what happened is what his affiliate ended up doing was sending me, once San Quinn was done, and this is how, like I said, almost everybody out there does this. Um, San Quinn had his affiliate, his producer or whatever, send me um, a couple different files. Sent me uh, the complete song pretty much, obviously not mixed or anything, but uh, kind of like I'm doing where it's just a rough version of San Quinn on the beat while I'm also on the beat as well. So it sounds like a full song is he also sent the acapella version. So the reason why he sends an acapella version of uh, his, his voice, his recordings without the beat is because I needed to have that to send over to my engineer and my engineer took my acapella vocals, his acapella vocals and kind of matched them up, you know, just equaled them out pretty much so that they sounded in sync and perfect together while they were on the beat. So that's how it's most commonly done. Um, and uh, that's how when I get the verses back from my friends, that's how they're going to send it back to me. They'll send it just like I explained, acapella, and then one on the beat so I can line it up when I'm mixing it later on. Like I said, very basic setup for now. Got the mic cord. Got pop filter, mic stand, microphones in here. Uh, got my preamp right there in the middle. And then, of course, just the computer and, and my headphones, of course. Good old Kenny Stabler's got my back today. The snake. So, put that there. And then, like I said, mic stand comes next. That goes right there. We make sure everything is tight. Now, luckily, it just worked out perfectly. Um, having it like this, where it's like sitting uh, or standing straight up like that, putting the microphone on it, it, it actually stands at a perfect, perfect, perfect height for me to wrap. So then comes the microphone. 
and that always stays in this uh, protective case even though it's a cheap microphone you know it does the job so that's why um, I still take a lot of my uh, professional kind of stuff to the professional studio where they have like the microphone that's thousands and thousands of dollars this bad boy uh, nowhere near that <laughs> let's just say that nowhere near that but it's got the you know the shock shield on the end of it so if I accidentally like tap it while I'm rapping you know I like to do my thing while I'm rapping if I accidentally hit it or something like that it doesn't really mess up the sound actually at all um, sometimes it will but I think actually does a pretty good job protecting it. So next we have the pop shield. So a lot of people, even if uh, you know you don't rap or anything, a lot of people are familiar with this. This is literally, as they call it, pop shield. So when I say the word pop, or you say something with the P sound, that might, like you, you, you do that P, and you do that rough on a microphone, what's well, gonna make you sound really weird and distorted um, on the speakers or the headphones. So this bad boy, I can do it pretty much as, as hard as I want, and it'll protect it against uh, distorting um, on the uh, speakers. Quick and easy, and we're ready to record. Still, still a work in progress down here, but like I said, the snakes got my back. And this is the track that we are going to be recording on. And so, of course, before we get started, we have to do a little bit of a tester, make sure our settings are all correct. And we'll do a test, 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 and there it is. As you can see, once we started talking, the sound waves started kind of popping up there. That means we are actively recording on the microphone. Yeah. And as I get a little bit closer to the microphone, the sound waves will start to get a whole lot bigger, as they should be. Because this is the distance I will be keeping when I'm rapping. Alright, so I'm definitely going to have to record this one in chunks. Um, but, we're going to make it sound pretty good. Who's that stepping on the scene? Ain't no question, it's the king. Got to mentioning the things that'll recommend their dreams. Am I better than Supreme? Turning cheddar into cream. And okay, see, so that was... I can already tell that was a little too much. Let me pause it real quick. That was a little too much. So um, I need to cut it after bar number two. So I need to do the first two lines and then cut it off. And then I'll do the next two lines after that. But um, not bad. I think my timing was off a little bit in the beginning. So we'll, we'll get another take on that one. Take two. Who's that stepping on the scene? Ain't no question, it's the king. Got them mentioning the things that'll recommend their dreams. Hated by some, I hope a lot more praise me. Nope, that wasn't it. Or praise me. Lost a few friends, that's just the cost. Of, lost a few friends, that's just the cost. Of, since those days, it's a lot less. Uh, he lost a few friends, that's just the cost of game fee. I don't know. I can do that better. I can do that better. Any target, I can hit it. Beats the hardest, I can spit it. Going far, this sky's the limit. Look to garner highest digits. We'll hear that back. We'll hear that back. That was better. almost one in the morning so I'm done recording um, took a little bit longer than I expected to finish those two verses and those aren't even the final ones yet so um, obviously you know like I said once I get the uh, shield 
for around the microphone so I can improve the sound quality a little bit. That's when I'll really be able to get the ball moving and be able to actually start my like recording for the mixtape. So I have a lot of writing to go. You know, I already have a lot of writing done, but in the meantime, um, you know, I'll probably I'll probably end up buying that piece fairly quickly. Um, once that's done, like I said, we'll get the ball moving. Right now, I have um, a goal in mind for early September for releasing this mixtape. Um, but you know, if if I'm able to kind of speed up that process and get the recording done a little bit quicker. Um, I'll most definitely try and drop it in August, but we'll see. Um, as always, I'm always open to like comments on uh, what kind of content you guys would like to see next. I got a couple ideas um, in the books, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what's coming next. Um, but anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully you can like it. Hopefully you can subscribe to the channel so you can follow me along this journey. And um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a long night and... Uh, I'm not done yet, you know, even though I'm done recording, um, I think I'm going to go do a little bit of writing for a little bit. So you guys have a great night and uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week.